Assalamu alaikum. My name is Sister Johara. Most people call me Jewel. I've been living in this apartment, 211 Cypress Street, for three years this past December 2nd. And for the first two years in this apartment, I had no problem. But on October the 12th of this year, my water came uh, out of the faucet real dirty. And I called the water department, and they came, and they said they blow the, the pipes out, they did this and that, and it was okay. But the water continued to get worse and worse. Then I learned from other people that had been living in this area that they had been having problems for 60 years out here with the water contamination. And it's really gotten bad. And now the water has damaged my house and parts of my body. Um, and the, the muscles of my body on my hands and my knees and around my face is eating away as, a, as I speak. It's itching and biting and hurting in places all over my body. The, uh, the water department, the medical center, and the health department, they all are in denial. And no one will really come and look. The landlord came and looked and she saw the damages and they are great all over the place. But the only um, alternative that she could give me was to move. And I really don't have no place to go. It's not many places that you can find for it rent that I pay here, which is $400 a month. And most uh, most of all, in my case, I'm a Muslim sister, and it's not safe for me, especially with the times we're living in. And I need to be near my own people. And I feel that I'm being bullied. There's so much to tell. I don't know where to start. There's so much to tell. Right now, I'm under siege. I can't use my water, it's filthy and it's full of acid. I have pictures and I have proof all over my home inside and out of the damage that this acid is doing to myself and to various things in my home, such as all my linen, bedding, everything is in there and it's eating and rotting in the way. And I'm afraid that the flesh that's sinking in on my body, I'm afraid that it's rotting also. And now I see these same sinkholes forming in my children. Have there been any other, what I guess what I'm asking is, is it affecting the neighbors as well as it's like a... The water. Is this like a whole neighborhood situation that's going on? The water have, have been, but uh, since October, this October, uh, my neighbor next door, she stays sick a lot, but they are, they're poor people simple people and they are afraid if they have to move where they're going mm. no one else they don't have any place to go this week uh, another neighbor down the street um, he's done took real bad sick and he has swollen up too and uh, then I got a cousin who just took uh, bad sick this week he was rushed to the hospital he don't live too far from here and he's bleeding at the brain and they don't know why and in this brother's case, they don't know what's happening with him. And they say his around his heart is full of fluid and his stomach that's swollen up. And we have had numerous deaths. Last summer, we buried a young woman from out here. The uh, flesh had literally consumed away from this woman's body from the inside. Pretty much like, looks like what's happening to me. I'm sinking in from the inside. Uh, it's commonly known that these type of things go on in the black community. Where I'm from, Pensacola, there was a community called Scambia Arms, and there was a chemical manufacturing factory right next door to it. And what was going on is this chemical factory, the chemicals were spilling over into the community. And when I was out with the Final Call newspaper, some of the residents invited me into their home just as you did. And they showed me that they were not making this up. They ran their sink water and showed me, I, I mean, I thought it was hot chocolate coming out of this sink. I mean, the water was so brown. They took me in their bathtub and showed me the bathtub water was brown. You know, obviously something was in it. And it came out later that 
this in fact was happening, the, comp the chemical plant had to close down, they had to pay what you, I would say, reparations to all these black people, they had to relocate them. But this is known that this commonly goes on in our black neighborhoods because they don't care anything about us. So they dump their chemicals, they dump these waste products and hazardous things in our community. Would you say, based upon the knowledge of that and what's going on with you, that this is really like biological warfare? Yes, sir, and biological, environmental genocide. We have, as you say, chemical plants right across from us. And I uh, have a newspaper article on my table over there, uh, Cromalot. They admitted that they have uh, the waste that they, they fear has gotten into the water out here in the Sylvania Heights area. And the reason I'm saying that this uh, seems like I'm the only one complaining outright about it. I think that it's uh, personal. Do you have the bottles of the uh, yes, water I that you If you would... Um, yes. Brad, I'd like to showcase those as well. Okay. These are some of the samples of the water. Can you see that one? Talk, turn that light on over there. This is one. You can hold it up just a little bit. Okay. Okay, as as anyone can see, if you hold it right back up, so as, any, as anyone can see, I mean, this is clearly unnatural looking water here that you've um, had to endure and deal with. And what, what is this one right here? This is, the, this came right, all of this water came out of the sink. I believe this to be acid and cement and mold. So all of these things is in that article in the paper of some of the things that they say was in the spill. Mm -hmm. And this looks like lead or acid. And I also have this acid is so potent it tore a rug completely to shreds. After a while I got the other pieces up here but this is some of the acid that came out of that. Out of the water. Out of this rug. Okay. I tried to collect as much as I could. Swept it up. And this is a result, you would say, of the chemical spill in the area and what they've acknowledged in the in the in the paper. Yes, sir. Of what's going on there, it's, it's brought it's damaged your water, made it polluted. It's also brought acid into your home, as well as other concerns. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, what we I thank you so much. Is there anything you would like to say in closing regarding? situation with the water, with your health, and what can we do as a community to combat these type of things which seemingly goes on far too often where they just really dump their loads on us and leave us to die and suffer and end up with all kind of health maladies. Is there anything you'd like to say in closing regarding that, what you would like to see, what can we do to um, fight against these type of things? Yes, sir. It may be too late for me as far as this chemical that's in my body, but for the many children that's in this area that's drinking this water and having to use it for various other reasons, at least if someone could come and tell the truth, do uh, some blood tests, because the medical uh, centers and uh, health departments stay full of our babies sick with some sickness or another, and this is continuously. While in the news they talk about the Medicaid bill is running enormous. This water, I believe, is a direct factor in the cause of these sicknesses. So, but, the, but with the health department covering up everything and the water covering up everything, we need someone outside of this community, outside of the city, to come in and take some blood tests, someone that we can trust. For myself, as I said, I'm just tired of America, period.